21. Archimedean Solids. Truncated Cube in CPS. In the classical geometry, a truncated cube is generated from a cube, using the same approach used for generating the truncated tetrahedron or the truncated octahedron. 1. Divide each edge of the cube in three parts. 2. Cut the vertexes of the cube, with planes determined by the divisions done in the first step. In the case of the cube, the division will not have to generate three equal parts. Applying simple geometry, one can determine the relationship between the size of the initial cube AD and the size of the truncated cube, BC. The presence of square root of 2, shows that these two dimensions, are incommensurable with each other. For this reason, we will use another approach to identify the truncated cube pattern in CPS. We will do that by looking first, to the Catalan octahedron, the dual of the truncated cube. We have already seen a Catalan solid, namely the Catalan tetrahedron, while presenting minimum surfaces related solids in CPS, see video 16 in this series. Now, let's look closer to the Catalan octahedron in CPS. Starting from an octahedron, by adding triangular pyramids to each face, one can generate a Catalan octahedron. This pattern can be spotted very easily in the CPS arrangement. Let's look closer to the shape and structure of the triangular pyramids. One can see that the pyramids grow in height very slowly. When all the spheres forming this pattern are shown, the beauty of this structure comes fully into the light. Let us contemplate it for a moment. We have already seen these triangular pyramids as the components of the soap film, produced by a tetrahedral frame. This is the best known manifestation of the minimum surfaces, and is also found in the close packing of spheres. To better see this structure, the spheres defining the vertexes have been colored in red. Also, we have decided to show only half of the Catalan octahedron. This view declutters the structure and lets us contemplate the essential components. When all the components are close together, the Catalan octahedron pattern emerges. The view presented here shows the internal configuration of the structure along the planes with an underlining square lattice. Two instantiations of this pattern are shown next. First, let us look at the Catalan octahedron corresponding to the octahedron formed from triangle pattern with a size of 22 spheres. Next, let us see a more developed version of this pattern. This Catalan octahedron pattern corresponds to the octahedron of size 29. The next few views show this structure in its entire splendor. As seen before, complex patterns in CPS are formed by a relative large numbers of spheres. Assembled as a platonic structure, this pattern requires 3,842 nodes and 11,592 struts. Let's go back to the Catalan octahedron of size 22 and use it to reveal its corresponding dual solid, namely the truncated cube. The vertexes of the truncated cube are located in the center of the faces of the Catalan octahedron. As we can see, the center lays between the three red spheres. This tells us that a vertex of a perfect truncated cube is not defined by one sphere. This was something to be expected, remember. The size of the cube is incommensurable with the size of the truncated cube. By removing the unwanted spheres from the Catalan octahedron, one is left with the corresponding truncated cube. We have chosen to show the duality of Catalan octahedron and truncated cube using a handful of views. Try to imagine the missing halves of both solids, the truncated cube and the Catalan octahedron, and their dual relationship. Finally we have got to the point where the complete truncated cube pattern can be exposed. 
Note that both the vertexes and the edges are not determined by a single sphere. Again, the pattern of the truncated cube is presented using a multitude of views. At this point into our investigation of the close packing of spheres, we should not be surprised anymore by the richness of our initial hypothesis. This approach to geometry, of using points distributed in space following the close packing of spheres patterns, makes the geometry very similar with arithmetic. The current belief is that the geometry follows logically, from the initial axioms, the Euclidean approach to geometry. The same approach has been tried on many other branches of science and mathematics. In arithmetic this approach was tried by Bertrand Russell. He failed miserably. Goodall showed that such an attempt is impossible. I will say more about this later in this series.